everybody, welcome back. I haven't picked up this camera in a week. A whole week. I hurt my back at the beginning of the week and I've been in bed flat on my back all week long. Yay me. So we are on our way now to Menards in the midst of this everybody stay in virus business. We have 90, whoop, what is this? 90, 91%. 1, 91. 91% alcohol in this spray bottle I'm going to douse the buggy with, probably myself when I come out. We've got wipes, we've got gloves, don't have masks, but you know, I'm just going to stay away from people because of all the people that they say don't go out, I'm probably one of them because I have an autoimmune disease. Yay. Let's hope all this goes well, but we're going to buy wood for our... Raise garden. Raise beds. My husband wants to get started on that. And so we're going to go buy some wood for that. I think we're going to do 6x12 is what we talked about. We're going to get enough wood for one bed now and see if we like the size and if it's big enough and everything. But before we get to the store, I'm going to put a clip in next of something we did at the very beginning of the week that I did, I did film. My grandson, he played a little solo at his spring program. He was so excited and the soloist that was supposed to play with him wasn't there, nope. or the next song wasn't there. He didn't show up. So my grandson got to play two solos in this. Watch my grandson, he was so excited. what that is. Officially the name of that is a glockenspiel. And when I was in the marching band, I played a big glockenspiel. That's what I played. I played trumpet up until high school and then I switched over to percussion and played the glockenspiel, the bells, the marimba, all of that stuff. I loved it. I just loved that. So he was trying to explain to us a couple weeks ago what he was playing and nobody could figure it out until so my daughter did send me a picture of it because he brought it home one day and i said oh a glockenspiel and called them back and my grandson was so happy that i knew what it was all right off to menards we go wish us luck wish us luck that we don't get sick because i don't want to get sick for any of you that don't know we are in ohio we are actually in Ohio where the virus is and there's people in the hospital for it. So we are really stupid for going out to the store. I am well aware of that, well aware of that. But All right, for those of you that can't find food, come to Menard. Menard has lots of, well, the pasta's gone, but they have a lot of canned foods and some staples here actually. Menards hardware store. And if you're having, they have a lot of bread. And if you're having trouble finding bread, go to a drugstore. Yesterday I was in there and I got bread in there. I just got what I needed because I figured I'll make it. There's quite a lot of food at Menards. There's only one other person walking around with gloves on that we've seen so far. I sprayed my buggy with alcohol and I think people laughed at me. Go ahead and laugh. I don't want to get sick. There was a lady over there coughing in another aisle and she was like wiping sweat from her face. I told my husband, we're doomed, we're doomed. Another kid walked by, coughing at his elbow. We are extra doomed now. Came down the chip row and I told my husband, don't breathe. There were other people in the aisle. I told him, don't breathe, just don't breathe. Turn blue. <laughs> Everybody else is gonna build since they're home, I guess. He still has his gloves on. I yelled at him, I said, hey, what are you doing? You've got your gloves on and you're, now we have to, he still has to go get wood, so he's going to wear them to get out and get wood, but now we have to clean his steering wheel. But don't, you know, I do have my trusty, my trusty alcohol, which I think somebody laughed at me when I sprayed it in the store. I saw their reaction. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They didn't have any hand sanitizer available, any wipes, any nothing, probably because they don't, can't find them. But 
I sprayed my buggy down and one of the clerks just kind of smirked at me. Don't smirk at me. I don't want to get sick. If I have to be out here, I'm going to look like an idiot, okay? Well, we made it out of Menards, and we're alive so far. Nobody was taking precautions. One, one woman was. That was it. Everybody else was just walking around shopping, and there were a couple elderly people in the, in the ridey carts, and they can... I know I'm stupid for going out when it's not absolutely necessary. It's just kind of necessary. Well, it's not necessary at all. Well, we're going to lay these boards out. Let's see kind of where we want to put this in our yard. Let's see. We're going to move the burn pit and burn all those from the pear tree. Is that where you think it should go? Well, where do you want the shit at? Want the shed here or over there more? Probably over there more. Oh, decisions. Shed. Decisions. Where are we going to put the shed? I want to keep enough room you need to get here. it away from the tree roots. Well, so I, I, want to get, I want to keep enough distance from the shed to the garden, garden. so you can get the so mower out and out. stuff. Yeah. All right, I think we've decided that we're going to do end to end this year because we're only going to do two so if we put one there we could put one about here and then if we next year if we wanted to add another one we could next next to it but we're going to do a shed back there and you see that big limb right there that thing is huge and it's probably going to break off so we're going to we're cutting that down too so we've, we've got quite a bit of projects happening. Quite a bit. I'm trying to stay about eight foot off the property line. Later, I'll put a room there for mowing. And you have to offend for some reason, I'll be able to do it. Yeah. The house next door to us is a rental. But they're getting evicted this week. Thank God. And then they're going to put the house up for sale. That's a good thing. There's a lot going on at this house next door. A lot going on. And we also have this area over here. We planted these little trees, hoping they'll grow tall one day. I hope they made it. It looks like they may have. I don't know. And then this big grass we have. And then we cut trees out last year these trees down. Well, we didn't cut them down. Somebody else did. No. Did we cut these down? Listen to me. Listen. <laughs> and I have tulips planted in here. I can't wait for those to come up. I love tulips. So we have to clean all this up. We kind of didn't because of the renters. They were just absurd. This year they'll be gone, so we could get in there without getting screamed at. We actually had to call the police on them last year. The uh, guy that was renting the house off of them, he was, I believe he was uh, drinking a little bit. I don't know. But we were cleaning up that side of the yard, and he came out screaming at us that we were cutting down his trees. And it's like, first of all, you rent while you care. Secondly, it's our property. It, you know, and it was a big ordeal. We, we actually had to call the police. So we never have to, we're not, we had to call the police because he was getting irate. And the landlord came and calmed him down and it was, it was a mess. So anyway, there we go. The start of our raised beds. I'm excited. I am excited. Pretty soon I'm going to start my plants. It's a little bit too early in Ohio to do that. So anyway, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and come back for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.